Today is September 21st, 2015. Hopefully you can hear me over the sound of the truck. Um, just going to do a little errand here, a little work I need to get done today. And uh, just wanted to address something that's coming up more and more. I've heard a lot about this. It seems to be getting a lot worse, and that is uh, family dealings with Christians. Um, I'm hearing a lot of stories of parents that can't see, or grandparents that can't see children, uh, even parents that can't see children. And, and uh, Like the Bible says in Matthew chapter 24, because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. And uh, other parts of scripture, there's actually verses that talk about family members turning each other in and being, you know, to the point of being executed. And uh, boy, we're not far from that right now. I mean, it's just, it's amazing. So uh, what do you do in that situation as a Christian? What, what can you do about that? Well, you stand by the Bible no matter what happens, no matter who turns against you, no matter what threats are made, you stand by God's Word. Why? Because you're going to stand before God someday and give an account for yourself. And uh, God wants you to be loyal to His Word, even unto death. And um, But uh, the question comes up, what do I do? I mean, if I have grandchildren and the parents are scum, but the grandchildren are okay, they want to be around me, you know, should I just cut off all contact with the children? Uh, you know, and then thereby cut off contact with the grandchildren? Well, uh, I would say that as long as you have an inroad there, um, you should try to be there as a faithful witness to your grandchildren. Uh, it's tough. I mean, it's it's really tough. I can relate. I, you know, I've I've had my share of family issues here the last quite a few years. You know, family members turning against me, and and, uh, and you know it works in reverse too. You know, I I mean there are family members I don't associate with uh, on both sides, my wife's side and my side as well. Family members that I don't want to be around because they don't respect our beliefs. They mock us. Um, there's really no point in being around them. It just is all carnal, uh, remember the old times kind of stuff. You know, it's a waste of time, essentially. And, and you know, there's always a, a desire on their part, even if I'm not ripping on their beliefs or whatever, their satanic beliefs, there's always a desire on their part to, you know, try to convert us over and mock us and stuff like this. It's just, it's irritating. So, um, as Christians, we're called to be loyal to the Lord. We're called to be loyal to His Word. And that's where your loyalty lies. That's where it doesn't matter what people say. You stick with the book. And if that calls you your family, um, your rewards will be that much greater in heaven. Because uh, when your name is cast out as evil and you're persecuted, and when Jesus came back to His own country, His own town where He grew up, they tried to kill him. They took him up to a cliff and tried to cast him off the cliff and murder him. So uh, you're going to get some of that same treatment as a Christian. Um, that's the way it's supposed to be. Uh, you know, don't ever fall for this thing that um, Christianity is is unity. And if you're if you're a good Christian and you have the love of God and the love of Christ, then everybody's going to like you. Uh, no, quite the opposite. Remember, your Savior was murdered by the world. And uh, things were a whole lot better back then, a lot more moral back then than they, than they are today. So um, if they hated Jesus, they're going to hate you. Uh, stand by the book, brethren. I don't, I don't know how much more time we have left, but it can't be very long now until the Lord uh, catches away his bride. And uh, I just, just want to encourage you to really stand by the Bible no matter what happens, no matter what it costs you. So just going to try to pop into occasional videos now and then. I have a lot of work going right now. A lot of things to get done. And uh, so I, you know, I'm a little busy. I can't really do bigger sermons right now. I will be, you know, doing one every other week probably, Lord willing, somewhere in there. I don't really know. Uh, but uh, just keep us in your prayers. My wife's going to be actually doing some interesting videos coming out so she's going to kind of take up some of the slack while I'm working uh, just have a couple jobs to do like I said but uh, so 
that will be it. Please pray for us and stand by the Bible.